All right. Right. I think this right. is Murray. I'm going to put the camera on him. Oh, really? Jesus. So there you go. Oh, good. I'm okay. going to hold this while I walk. <laughs> while we walk. Let's see if we pick you, pick up the sound. Right. Now, in the discussion that I had with this, with people, there's night. A hundred persons, English speaking from all over, uh, all over the English speaking world. And they, they want to, they, they're trying to put this whole business of the state of Israel together with Zionism, or whatever you want to call it. And I explained to him after the war, that these survivors, they had no place to go. Nobody wants to bring them, nobody wants them to come into the country. So where did the survivors come from? They came because they were left over from those that were murdered. Now, how, where did Israel, get, Palestine get into this whole subject? Well, World War II was a very serious war. And the British mobilized troops from every one of their colonies around the world. There was an Australian division, and there was a Palestine division. Now, to do the Palestine division, they had to, okay, join, join the army, join whatever. The Jews. Everybody. everybody. No, they asked everybody to join. Every person who was in Palestine. And what happened is that ten thousands of Jews joined. The Muslims didn't join. But the Mufti of Jerusalem ran away from Jerusalem because of what he was doing. He wasn't a very pro-British uh, man. He ran to, ran to Europe, and he went to visit with a guy named Vyselicheni, and another guy called Hitler, <laughs> and they discussed what to do. And this guy, him of the Israel, said very simply, I will get you 100,000 Muslims. There are plenty of Muslims in Europe. I'll get them into your army, and they'll kill Jews. I said, oh, okay. He says, but I got to know they're going to be given a chance. He says, we're on board with you. We take them and we'll do it. Okay, the war ends. The, the, uh, the uh, Allied forces, thank God, win. And the Jews are going to leave Europe, the few, to come into Palestine. In order to get into Palestine, you got to break the, the so-called British blockade. It's a whole blockade. It's a historical thing. Every one of the ships are caught. Being on one of them, I was caught was one of the, as a sailor, one of the volunteers, end up in Cyprus prison, which is not a very pleasant place. Did they keep you separate from the Jews who were being deported, or it was all mixed? No, no. The sailors no. were all put in with the. the Jew, all it, on Cyprus. See, Cyprus <laughs> during World War II, believe it or not, was a German prisoner of war camp for the British. Yeah. <laughs> After World War II, they let them out and they put us in. <laughs> all the Jews that are trying to leave. Now, they actually, at one point, some 60, 70, 80,000 Jews went through Cyprus. And some stayed longer, some stayed, I only stayed a few months. But when we left Cyprus, I came to Palestine, a, a crazy thing was happening. What's the crazy thing? The Jews don't stop coming. And the British get very disgusted with it because suddenly they look like nasty people which they didn't feel they deserved. Uh, they're beating Jews that are unarmed. They're capturing children. It was a very nasty thing for them. That's how I interpret it all. Look at survivors. And, uh, yeah, people will just, by, only by luck, they survive, and they're all youngsters. So, finally, they give up and discuss the British, and they say, okay, throw it to the UN. Because they knew the UN was not exactly a friendly place for, 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 uh, for the Jews. And they were sure they're going to win the vote, that they should take back the whole uh, mandate, the British, and keep it and do what they want. But they didn't. What happened? They lost the vote in the United Nations. And two things happened then. They lost the vote. The Muslims attacked the Jewish state the next day. Yeah. And that was the beginning of the end because the Jews kicked the shit out of the British, out, out of the Saudi, out of the Arabs. Uh, and, and, and that was it. It was a tough war. It was a war for self-defense. Ten percent of the Jewish population died. That's a, a war of self-defense, nothing else. Without no, and, all kinds and nowhere else to go. It's not no, like no place to go. No place to go. No place to run. And, and, and defense. And, and, and they didn't want to let us get Last weapons. line of defense. Sure. And who came? It wasn't though the only the Palestinian so-called Arabs that came, uh, but was from all over, Jordan, all over Jordan, the area, Iraq, Syria, Iraq, Syria, every one of them, they Egypt. all contributed. 
But the interesting thing that happens with all of this is that these people who came to fight, they lost and couldn't accept it. Just couldn't accept it. They just were not ready to, they thought, look at this, how many Jews are there here? <laughs> and they, they just were nobody here. If you add it all up, we didn't have the weapons. We had to smuggle the weapons in all the time. And the end result was that we won. But nobody, none amongst the Palestinians, who they call, don't want to accept it. They also don't want to accept the fact that when World War II was on, they participated in the Nazi side. Yeah. They were a part of the fascist thing. And they want, oh, they don't want to say that's, they don't want, they don't want to believe that either. But they were there. So, so we find ourselves in a very crazy situation in which the Jews are defending democracy. The Jews are defending, even, they're even defending the United Nations because it's supposed to be two countries. And we yeah. win, you know? Uh, this guy, uh, what's his name? His cartoonist one made a cartoon. A little guy standing with a flag and he says, so sorry, we won. <laughs> I mean, and it, it was a, a... I think I'm going to... Go on. All right, I'm, uh, that's uh, just an experiment. Perhaps we're going to schedule Murray for a proper interview and um, promote it on Israeli Cool and see if uh, people want to join and ask questions. Murray's a very interesting guy, friend of mine, amazing story of rescuing Jews, being caught, sent to Cyprus, and uh, eventually coming back and fighting in the War of Independence. Anyway, that's all for now, and we'll try this again with warning. Um, thanks for joining.